Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Via breaking news, and bear with us because we don't have much information at this time, but there are reports of a school shooting in Parkland, Florida. That's in Broward County. These are uh, Broward County. These yeah. are live pictures right now. Again, we don't have that much information. All we have right now are reports of a school shooting. No idea if there have been any injuries. No idea how many people might have been injured. We do see quite a lot of activity at that school. Uh, there are students, if we pull out a little bit, students crowded around, or maybe potentially parents crowded around a street corner, fire trucks, other emergency vehicles. Uh, there were reports earlier of people being taken out of that school, but so far from these live pictures, uh, I cannot see evidence of that. Again, we're just getting this information and it's breaking at this hour. This is happening at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. We've seen several students get put into ambulances and taken away. Friends who have kids there must be an extremely, extremely scary situation for those families. It is. It's very frightening. Um, they're trying to get to the school right now to see what's going on. Of course, uh, the traffic around that area has been completely sealed off. So uh, unclear how parents, how close parents are going to be going to be able to get. But uh, no doubt many parents are right now heading to the school as the, the picture of that campus now begins to come into into view here. Uh, there are a lot of people in who are crying right now. They don't know when they'll be able to leave. The students also are worried about their fellow classmates and don't know whether the person responsible for this has been caught. And, and as of right now, Elliot, we have no information about the, the shooter and, and, and the status of that, right? Uh, no, we do not. And this is an utterly terrifying situation for those students, teachers, the uh, faculty and staff members at the school. And uh, you're talking about people who are now hiding inside closets, not knowing what is going on. What we can tell them is that police are on the scene. Uh, there are police units from the Broward Sheriff's Office. Uh, there, there are what appears to be military police units that police uh, that a police are, are using. The Coral Springs Police Department is out there. And what I've just been told, just got off the phone with a federal law enforcement source who says that this is still very much an active scene. And, and what that means beyond just the pictures that you're seeing here with law enforcement moving around, uh, the inside story is that they still don't know where this shooter is. They still don't have anyone in custody, according to our federal law enforcement sources. And so right now they're trying to, to get this shooter, whoever it is, neutralized. Well, Let's run over to Vanessa, Vanessa Medina. She is a superintendent of Broward Schools. Um, and yes, it is, is potentially is some former student. Um, don't have a name yet. I can't release any information to you. Uh, but that individual, we, we believe, is in custody at the moment. We hear a high number of casualties. Are you getting any indication from the sheriff just how many people may have uh, died? Can't confirm the number at this point, but there are fatalities involved here. Can you tell us at least how many transports did you know of maybe a dozen? I don't know the number that's been transported at this point. Um, but again, there, there are numerous fatalities. It's a horrific um, situation. Um, it's just it's just a horrible day for us. And um, we got reports of multiple shootings. Can you confirm that? I'm sorry. What's that? There were more than one shooter. Uh, no, at this point, we have no evidence that there's been more than one shooter. Uh, the individual, um, again, we believe is, is has been apprehended. I would leave it to the sheriff to provide you additional details around that. Just to run seat. This all a teacher who was dead. Is that confirmed by you? Teacher, is it? Um, I, I believe there's an administrator um, or teacher that, that is involved. There may be more. Um, I can't confirm if that's been one of the fatalities at the moment. Right now, today, we have President Trump on Twitter trying to show that he is fully informed and that he cares. It doesn't suggest any answers at all, just calling up what Trump said, um, uh, that he's, of course, concerned in being briefed. My prayers and condolences to the families of the victims in the terrible Florida shooting. And this is where there will be a political argument. Uh, Trump went on to write, no child, teacher, or anyone else should ever feel unsafe in an American school.
but if you're a conservative politically, you probably believe, therefore, there should be more guards and more guns, and that even teachers and principals at schools should have guns. So that's the political fallout that uh, we expect, Tracy.